Hey, how you doing? Ben Broussard with Loga TV here with this week's drilling report. Happy New Year to you fine folks out there. Quick heads up, Loga State of the Industry meetings happening soon in these cities. Get your seats secured today at loga.la. All right, deep breath, on we go. Louisiana Light Sweet Crude gives New Year's revelers a crude awakening with prices dropping to $54.77 a barrel. February Henry Hub gas drops to $3.03 per MMBTU. EIA hub spot price through the 29th reflects $3.07 per MMBTU. Current U.S. rotary rig count at 1840, up 83 from a year prior. Okay, starting off in the Haynesville, handful of permits this week, two in Bossier for Anadarko in Elm Grove, one for Chesapeake in Caddo's Caspiana. Fairly recent new drilling reported from Exco in Caddo's Bethany Long Street, up three pre-production numbers in the Haynesville settle at 294. As for the rest of North Louisiana, JW operating, exploring the Cotton Valley in DeSoto's Caspiana this time of year. Denberry keeping two rigs happy up in Delhi, though things a bit sluggish up north for the turn of the calendar. Total rigs in all the north this week, 31. Over in the Tuscaloosa Marine Shale, Goodrich currently drilling in two places in Louisiana, both in Tangipahoa Parish. The Kenshin 58H at Greenlaw and the Nez 43H at Little Silver Creek. Goodrich also permits in Little Silver Creek of Washington Parish. Yes, Washington Parish, a parish with three currently producing wells to its name. Other than a sprinkling of outstanding permits, TMS pre-production numbers rest at 13. Now, on to South Louisiana where Acadia's Bosco Field saw a Christmas Eve spud by Cypress Production. Both Cypress and Zachary Exploration drilling in Acadia currently. Neighboring Beauregard waited until the day after Christmas to have War Horse Oil and Gas drop bit in Bearhead Creek. That parish also sporting a new well by Will Drill in East Hurricane Creek. Logo members United World Energy Corporation currently working a well in Cameron's Chalkley Field. Others active in Cameron, the likes of Shoreline and McMoran Oil and Gas. Moving over to Evangeline Parish, Drillers Tana Exploration drove and spud recently in Pine Prairie. South Louisiana drops four to end out at 18 rigs. Inland Water, Hill Corp re-enters in Iberia's Vermilion Bay, this along with a little more Christmas Eve action at Weeks Island by Alta Mesa. Finally, Gulfport spuds anew at West Cote Blanche Bay. Things still pretty low, mister, resting at 12 rigs. Louisiana State Offshore Waters, Energy Resource Tech drilling at Breton Sound Block 53 and Hill Corp alive at West Delta Block 27, all in Plaquemines Parish. Total of two active drilling projects in Louisiana State Offshore Waters. Finally, Outer Continental Shelf Federal drilling adds one to stay at 53 running deep water drilling projects. As a whole, Louisiana ended out at 117 active projects for the week, down seven from last report. Now, as for New Year's deep water permits, none of those. However, shallow permits, three coming. One for Arena Offshore at Eugene Island, Block 338. Another for w and Offshore at Ship Shoal 359. Finally, one for Chevron at Bay Marchand, Block 3. Back on land, operators scored a whopping 13 permits in nine parishes. Sarcasm dripping. Four in St. Mary Parish, three for Energy Quest 2 in Bayou Sally, other for Destin Operating in Sherrington. This week's permits went out in Bossier, Caddo, DeSoto, Iberville, Jeff Davis, Richland, St. Landry, St. Mary, and Washington Parishes. Hey, if you want a little more info, be sure and check out the Office of Conservation's website. Thanks to you guys for listening to this report and sharing it with the folks you know. Click this button right here to share it on up. Don't forget to follow Loga for up-to-date news on the oil and gas industry in Louisiana. Until next time, this is Ben Broussard with Loga TV.